Things are quiet here at the University of Chicago tonight after police moved in to clear this encampment this morning. No one was hurt or arrested. Today, students sharing their thoughts with us on this latest move by the administration. Around 430 this morning, University of Chicago police moved in. I basically came around here and I saw a row of riot police blocking this entrance to the quad. Officers dismantling an encampment in the quad, a process that took about two and a half hours. After a police barricade was cleared, some protesters had a standoff with officers near the steps of Levi Hall. There was no way we could just go home just because the police had come and trashed our camp like we were here for much more than that. Others happy to see the tents go. I was uh, one of the nine students who organized a petition to have the encampment shut down. Senior Declan Hurley says he got 20 2,500 signatures, including 100 faculty members, and says he's relieved the demonstrators are no longer occupying the quad. This encampment was illegal, disruptive, obstructive, and incredibly dangerous. We had people from off campus populating our quad for days on end. On this development, the university saying, quote, safety concerns have mounted over the last few days and the risks were increasing too rapidly for the status quo to hold. This morning, the university intervened to end the encampment. We are going to continue. We won't rest until you divest. That's what we always say, and we mean it. We'll be back. Protesters expressing support for the Palestinian people and despite stalled negotiations with administrators, still calling on the university to disclose its financial investments and divest from companies that fund the war in Gaza. I don't think this necessarily can be over until the civilian death count doesn't start, doesn't keep going up like that. Some students tell us they're still a bit concerned that graduation could be potentially disrupted by protesters or that they could possibly try to occupy a building here. At the University of Chicago, Dana Rebic, WGN News.